um, we are going to be talking about layers and I'm going to explain how layers work and I'm going to show you um, one instance where I use them. Um, there's lots of possibilities and lots of reasons that you would use them, but I'm going to show you how I use them. And just to kind of um, get started, I am going to place a logo inside Illustrator. <clears throat> you might recognize it. It's called Craigslist. And it's just to make this really simple, um, every new document, if you look over here and you call up your Layers panel, which you can find under Window, Layers, it shows your panel over here, and it shows that right now we have one layer, which that is the default for Illustrator. Every new document you make will have Layer 1. And <clears throat> right now my image that I placed onto my document is here and it's on layer one and I can tell what's on this layer by toggling this eyeball so if you want to turn off a layer you click or turn on a layer you click on the eyeball <clears throat> so let's say that I was going to redraw this logo um, and I'm going to so I want my original logo on layer one and I'm going to make a new layer so you're going to go up to the option menu in the top corner and hit new layer. That's how you make an additional layer. And I'm going to call this the artwork layer. And you can label, um, you know, colorize your layers if that makes it easier. The, the colors show up here on your panel. Um, you can make it a template layer. Um, you can have it show or not show, preview or not preview, lock it. Um, which you can all do over here too, but um, I usually just rename it um, the rest I switch um, when I get over here. So I named it artwork because it's the layer I'm going to draw on. And I'm going to go ahead and start recreating this logo. Okay, not perfect, but for the sake of this, um, we're going to say it's good enough. And you can see right now, because um, the artwork layer is the layer that's highlighted, that means that's the layer that you're working on. So um, if I want to, let's see, finish up my design. Just got to finish this. Again, not perfect. Good enough for this tutorial. But so I have my logo over top, and now I'm done with my original logo underneath. Uh, so I can either turn that layer off and it disappears just by clicking that eyeball. I can select my original layer and I can um, delete, sorry, whoops, I duplicated. I can delete that layer, and now it's gone. Um, if you lock it, it means that you can't manipulate it. So if maybe I wanna lock my artwork layer. I'm gonna lock everything that I drew on top, and then I can select just that background picture and get rid of it. So, your layer panel over here has lots of uses. Um, it can come in really handy. That's just the really basic part. I'm going to put my image back on my layer. And you can create as many layers as you want. And let's just get a couple on here. Sometimes this example that I'm going to show you here in a bit, you'll see why and how sometimes you need multiple layers. It just makes things a lot easier. Um, so I have all these layers here and you can rearrange your layers um, and 
when you expand the layer using that little arrow, it kind of shows you all the little detailed parts that are within that layer. There's a link to image. It's what it's showing. So, um, But you can rearrange your layers. Maybe I want my artwork on the bottom. Now you can't even see it because it's behind the placed image. And then you can keep toggling around. And think of this layer order over here like the pieces of a sandwich. It's a it's like a, a sandwich that you're looking down on top of, and so this bottom layer would be your bottom piece of bread, and then you have meat, and then you have cheese, and then your top layer is another top, um, is another piece of bread, and you're looking down on the sandwich. So if you take away the top piece of bread, um, well that layer is blank, let's put something on it. There. Um, the top layer is the top piece of bread so we're going to hide that and then you start to see the filling underneath and then you hide that and you hide that and you hide that so then your sandwich is gone <laughs> but that's how I think of layers is um, layers of a sandwich and um, each layer contains something important it's just an easy way to separate different pieces of your project um, so like if I was doing a brochure I might do um, <clears throat> the background, like if I had a brochure or a flyer, and of course I can't delete that because it's locked. Unlock. Okay. If I had a brochure or a flyer, and I wanted the background to be like a flood coat of blue, and that blue was going to carry over onto all the pages, I would make all my blue backgrounds, I would put them all in the same layer, and then I would lock it down so I can't move it or delete it or, you know, mess it up. And then I would start designing my art, um, my text, and my photos on top of it on another layer. So that's one way to use it. Um, I should probably go over all these options over here too um, on your layer palette. You can make a new layer. You can make a new sublayer, which I've never had to use a sublayer. Um, but a sublayer is things within within a layer. Um, I can't think of any instance where I've needed to use that, but <clears throat> um, you can duplicate a layer. So when you duplicate a layer, it will make an exact copy of everything that's on that layer. Um, sometimes that can be super handy and time saving. You can delete a layer. You can, what does options do? Oh, you can just change the options by clicking any of this stuff. Um, isolation mode, I don't even want to get into because that can get kind of confusing, but it looks like this. If you see this little icon up here in your, um, above your artwork, it means you're in isolation mode and you're, see how it removed everything else, every other layer that you have except layer four. It's just isolating layer four. So to get out of it, you just hit this back arrow. Um, flatten artwork. When you flatten artwork, it's going to take, let's say that you had all these layers. So we have four layers and you flatten it. It combines it all into one layer. And we don't have anything on our layers, so it didn't show you much other than over here. So flatten makes it all one layer. So maybe when you're all done with a project and you are sending it on its way, um, it would probably be a good idea to flatten it before you send it on to anyone else. Keep the layered file for your own editing purposes, but flatten it before you send it. Um, you don't need to know collect in a new layer. Um, release to layers. Release to layers, build, those two I have never used. Um, nope, I've never used them. You can make a layer, a template layer, meaning <clears throat> it changes the icon over here. And what that means is if you have artwork or piece of your artwork that's on the template layer um, and you save it as, let's say, a PDF or any other you save it in any other format than Illustrator, that layer will be hidden because it's a template layer. They should just call it a hidden layer. Um, so you can see it in the working file in the AI um, 
original, but it will not show up if you save it as a PDF or export it to the um, export it for screens, make it a raster image, it won't show up. Um, you can hide all other layers but the one that you're on. Um, you can outline all the other layers except the one you're on, unlock, and I've never pasted. I've never pasted to remember layers, but um, I think that's just if you copy, if you do a copy and paste, it will remember what layer your artwork is on and it will continue to copy it on that layer. Even if you by chance are on a different layer, it pastes it back to the same layer. That actually could come in pretty handy. Um, and then you have, you can change your panel options. So and, or, by panel, they mean this panel over here. So play around with that if you want. Make large icons, whatever, whatever <clears throat> is comfortable for you. So that is a basic overview of layers. And now I want to show you, this is my kind of my layer masterpiece. And one of the few times that I've used layers um, in my freelancing, this was an original image sent to me by one of my clients and I have had to redraw this. I had to vectorize it because they wanted to print it um, on a t-shirt and obviously as you can see what they had was very low quality and would never reproduce well on a t-shirt. So I decided to do this in layers based on different groupings of the art because I knew that if I would kept all of this on one layer it would get so jumbled and you know moving stuff front to back and just all the different colors and I am like no I have to do this on layers so if you look over at my layer panel right now I only have I have my layer down at the bottom my bottom layer is my original um, original image from the customer. So I can always go back to that. I can always look at it very quickly if I needed to. And then I just kind of started adding layers. So I'm pretty sure um, this, I started with the background. So I drew, <laughs> I know it doesn't make much sense now, but I drew everything that was kind of towards the bottom of the graphic. Because again, this is my sandwich. This is my bottom layer of bread. And then we started getting into the middle parts. There was the <clears throat> text down at the bottom, or the text up at the top, Bledsoe Miller, it's the name of the company. And I have the sun on its own layer, the little boy that I drew, the girl, and then basically all the rest, the summer camp at the bottom and stuff. And then if I turn on the very last final piece was the blue outline background then we have my finished piece of art. So I can go through and say I wanted to just work and tweak the sun. I could turn off every other piece of artwork because I have them all on separate layers. So let's say I'm done with the sun, but I wanted to retouch the girl or make revisions to just the girl. So there, I have the girl and I don't have any of that junk in the background or around me. And then when I want to be super impressed and Row in my work, I just turn all the layers on. <clears throat> and there we go. That is what I sent to the customer. But like I said before, before I sent this to the customer, I flattened it. So I got rid of, I selected the original layer because that was just that crappy photo that they sent. Trash. And then flatten. So then I just have one layer, one piece of art that I send off to the customer. Pretty cool. Um, so I hope that covers what you needed to know about layers. And if not, drop me a comment, drop me an email. And I am always updating um, my tutorials. <laughs>